American students sing religious oath of loyalty to Iran's supreme leader. Recently, in Houston, Texas, Shiite Muslim children sang an Islamic religious song with lyrics swearing allegiance to Ali Khamenei, Iran's supreme leader. The song lyrics contain messages such as, quote, I make an oath. One day when you need me, I will be your martyr. The Jerusalem Post reported that the song is called Salam Farmande, or Hello Commander in English, and it was released in 2021 by the Persian group Nation of Imam Hussein. The song is nominally about Imam al-Mahdi, the messianic figure believed to be the last imam by the 12 Shiite Muslims. Yet, it cleverly blurs the line between Imam al-Mahdi and Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. The children were filmed singing as part of a video created by the Islamic Education Center in Houston, Texas, or the EI, no, the IEC for short. The IEC has since removed the video from its Facebook page and YouTube channel. However, Iranian state-run media broadcasted the footage of the Houston school as, the prop as propaganda and have constantly promoted the song. Iran's action to, quote, recruit child soldiers and brainwash children was denounced by many critics. All right, so this was major news in Iran and also on social media among opposition uh, Iranians who are opposed to the Islamic Republic of Iran. This was massive. First of all, people were shocked. People were yeah. impressed. People were also impressed on both sides. Um, one, uh, the pro support, the pro Iranian regime people were like, we made it. We invaded the United States. Like we're coming for you. Okay. Like this is this shows how the Islamic Republic is an actually force, a big force to reckon with across the globe. Like we told you that we're gonna expand our you know our influence our army. All, all the way. Eventually we will turn the White House into a Hosseinia. Did you know that there are some pro regime people say I don't know if people know what Hosseinia is. Hosseinia is a place where Shias go to be like go like this. For Hussein, for his martyrdom. Actually, Susanna is wearing black. I should have worn black. I actually, it is warm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no wonder you're wearing black. Tagia exposed. Guys, oh, it all man. makes sense. Susie, this is too obvious. Stop that. Okay, it is Muharram. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so that <laughs> yeah. So some people. <laughs> stop. I'm just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, so they they say that the White House will be turned into a Hosseinia one day, meaning that Iran will invade the United States. Um, but they're saying like, look, we're getting there. Look, we have um, we in in United States we have little kid. This is this is in Houston. Yeah. Wait. Make this that video oh full screen. Okay. Hold on. This freaking blew my mind you guys it actually didn't blow my mind it broke my brain it straight up broke my brain i don't know how i saw this for the first time last week but i saw it exactly a week ago and i was absolutely shocked and I play <laughs> when it? i talked to armin about it i was like armin did you see this american children are singing it's a love farm on day and you're like oh yeah I saw that. I'm like, I was, then I became more upset that you saw this and it didn't immediately run to me. Right, right, right. So it's funny because there was a game people were playing that they were showing this video and they were asking, where do you think this is happening? And people were guessing different places. And like the, when they were told, like, this is actually in Houston, United States, and people were like, what? How? Okay. What the hell so is happening in Texas? <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, in let me. Texas? I'm gonna. Do you have audio? Should I play it with the audio? Did you have? Do you hear that? Yeah. Can we play it with the audio? I don't know about copyright. Um. I mean, it's a, it's a propaganda. I don't think it's copyright. Is it copyright? Okay. God damn it. Okay. Fine. Let's no. No. Okay. Let's 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 play it. Let's play it. 
No, I'm actually worried. I'm actually worried. Like it might be. I mean, it can be. Do you know they copied this from another song? By the way, that was an embarrassing thing that they found out. Like it's a copy of another song. Anyways. Oh my I'm god, Slum with... Farm Monday is plagiarized. Yes, yeah, plagiarized. So I don't know. Oh how... my god. Okay. Anyways, I'm not gonna play the song because I don't want to risk this channel. But this is them. Can I sing it badly? Yeah, actually, Slum go ahead. Can you? Farm Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so this, these are these are kids um the the song is about kids by the way for like like it's about kids of a certain generation and they all like pledging their loyalty to seemingly like to emma mehdi but it's obvious that you know it's not necessarily emma mehdi this is like Ali Khamenei, like it could be the like the the lyrics make it obvious that it could be played either way, right? Anyways, and it's about kids pledging their loyalty to him, right? These are okay, these are the kids, and these are not Iran, these are not Iranian kids, these are not even okay. So this is not in Iran, but the other thing is that these are not even Iranian kids in America. Yeah, right. These are Pakistani kids. Well, they okay, nothing- so after I posted. Oh this to my instagram someone who went to the school messaged me anonymously and they said so okay, okay this is all alleged right because i can't fact check this but they said okay yeah like i'm an iranian american but most of the people at these schools it's actually mostly pakistanis yeah well the thing is what they didn't do is that they didn't pay enough for this video to remove the low watermark you see Mm-hmm. That was a mistake. So they left this here and people would have went and checked and, and like this is not as big of a success as you think because you would assume like this is a major success because like look at our ideology is spreading all over the United States. But this is just a production company that will get you pocket get you like Pakistani kids do other things like they could like you could video them doing a I don't know um a birthday party or like you could film them do like i don't know play in a playground or whatever like so basically this this is you could this company will let you record these kids do almost everything anything illegal you know what i, mean? I like, don't this know is if not... that's true though because oh. so i have seen materials from this school and from this islamic organization promoting mm-hmm this event saying, bring your kids to this event. They should wear black chadors and white hijabs and black pants and white shirts. And here they, yeah. and we're going to recite Salam Farm on day. And we're going to, you know, like, so it was actually an event that was promoted by this organization, like an open call for them to come and film this. Yep. That's okay, different okay. than a production company that hires people to just do whatever. Okay, sure, okay, sure, sure, sure. But again, that means that these kids and their parents have no idea that this is like, they're like, hey, come, we're going to do a video and it's good. We're black, we're this. And like, so that means that they're not like loyal followers of the Velayat of of like the regime in Iran. They don't know like this is a, pro- they're like, oh, this must be something religious. Like they don't know that this is like something, a political statement. Do you know what I mean? Like they're not. Mm, so I don't if, know. I'm just saying, like, if the ad there is was plausible like, deniability, there is plausible like, deniability. Yeah, I don't think like these kids like. Anyways, well, of course I, these kids don't know what they're saying. Of course, like I, don't think, I would I never think, think that. I don't think even their parents are like, "Hey, we're just doing something Islamically wholesome." I think that's what they were. Th- they thought they're doing. Like they didn't know that they're mm. like taking part, taking part in this like political battle between two groups by the way this part is really freaky you know what i mean okay like they have all okay the- this is the part where i'm like am i is my bias coming out of me or is this legitimately weird because so the video has it shows all these school children you know in the all lined up and they're singing and then at the end it shows all these mothers with their babies and baby carriages like lined up in a line and then it shows them walking around with the families and then it has yeah. like, houston texas usa and the moms are like wearing sunglasses with their babies like the way that i interpreted this and please tell me if this is me and my if this is like 
hardcore bias jumping out of me because I want to check that, you know? Look at but that. Yeah. It, it reads as like, look at us with our next generation. Like in America, we're here. Like we're infiltrating. Like, am, no, I, that, that, out of, am I out of pocket or does it no, read that, that way? That, no, this is, that's the point. Like we're weaponizing our children. Like, you know, you might have bigger weapons than us, but we will take you from within with these kids. That's what the whole that like that's why it's like the whole message of the song and like look at like like is is displaying these infants as if they're weapons. <laughs> like look at our tactical weapons. <laughs> that's what I say. Like it's displaying like Houston. Yeah, like the Texas. slow mo of walking Islamic with babies. the stroller and like having the infant who can't walk in his job. Like what the <laughs> hell? Like we're here in why Houston. We, like what? We're in here. We're in Houston, and we're like. You know, if it comes across as like a, a bigoted, like right leaning person. That's exactly you know? what I thought. I'm like, this is what a right wing bigot would make to like, be like, look, they have their children here. They're changing our culture. Like what? The I know. <laughs> like it's almost it's almost like a satire version of what a bigoted right leaning person would be afraid of like that's how exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> like, they're leaning into it <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they're like you know what they're right <laughs> <laughs> we are coming for you <laughs> yeah oh my god okay so um the the reactions i was gonna say in Iran by the opposition against the Islamic Republic uh, is like, you think this is uh, this is a display of strength? This actually displays the strength of the United States because look at what they allow you to do. Like, look at the level of freedom because people, a lot of people in Iran are shocked. They're like, why is America allowing this? This is obviously this, the main popular propaganda the number one propaganda song currently of this of the united states enemy and it's just like letting a video be produced like this in the in in, in houston like why is in nobody Texas. stopping this yeah and people are like Texas. why is no like a lot of iranians are like why are americans not stopping this and like like there's like and some people are like well because america is not the islamic republic of iran people get to mm. do this right and so it's, it's, I was like, to me, it was so interesting to, to watch Iranians being shocked about what is allowed to happen in, in the United States, right? And some people were shocked and some people were like, well, yeah, this is because the United States is a superior country and they're displaying that by allowing so, stuff like this to happen. Like this, this shows the weakness of the Islamic Republic of Iran that thinks that this is like strength because like, oh yeah, you made a whole bunch of kids sing. Congratulations, okay? Uh, That's thank actually you for exactly what Reza is saying. He's saying, I think this should be celebrated as freedom of speech at its best. Yes, yes, yeah. And people are like, well, thank you, uh, Islamic Republic for showing your other Iranians how free the United States is. Do you, do, what are the chances of Iranians being able to sing a song that is pro US publicly like this in Iran? Like, oh my God. Be, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like, okay. So, like, you know, so you're showing, not only you're not showing your strength, you're showing more Iranians how free, how good other countries are, that how, mm -hmm. what you get to do there. That's what they're saying. And like, this is actually, not that's a good point because, yeah. okay, so when I first saw this, I went to go call Bawak. For those who don't know, he's the co-host on the Persian channel with Armin, the Atheist Republic Persian channel with Armin. And <laughs> I was like, Bawak, American kids are singing Salam Far Monday. He was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, this is all Joe Biden's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> not Joe Biden. Okay. I was dying laughing. He was like, Trump would never allow this. Oh, and I'm like, no. okay, but if he didn't allow it, what he did was illegal. So that's not good. Like, <laughs> yeah, he should allow, Biden should allow this because this isn't illegal. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I mean, another show of strength by United States is like, this is not even like okay well congratulations like i guess we you did that um because 
some other people who are against the Islamic Republic, they say like, like you're trying to pretend like you're a superpower that you get to do this in the United States and nobody can do it about us because we're strong. But this is like, if you were an actual major power, this would not be something you would do. Like, you know what I mean? This is not, this would not be, um, this would be so pathetic that you wouldn't make, make such a propaganda piece. But anyways, Brother of Life, <laughs> Brother of Life in the Left is like, yes, we are free to sing to Ayatollah if we want. <laughs> that's, that's okay, cool. but here's the thing. After watching this, I got the song stuck in my head. I was like walking around my house and I was like, Salam for Monday. <laughs> and then, <laughs> in English, how does it go? It's like, um, uh, Hi, com Heil was, Commander. No, I know, no, no, but they're they sing a refrain in English, um, when they're singing their oath to Ali. Anyways, I had that part stuck in my head, and yeah, <laughs> I was like, you have am I really walking around my house singing an oath to Ali right now? <laughs> 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 I am a secret Shia. <laughs> uh, you got me. You got some videos of other people in other places singing the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have a lot of videos that I want to show. So, first of all, this goes to, you always talk about Shia imperialism, including in Africa. So, here we have African school children. I'm not sure what country this is in. I would think maybe Nigeria. And in this video, they're also singing Salam for Monday. Yeah, it is Nigeria. It says Farsi. Nigeria. Oh. They're speaking Farsi? Yeah. They're like, Bia, oh Bia, like. <laughs> you know, uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran is taking like really aggressive, uh, doing a really aggressive push in Nigeria. So, which is really bad. Nigeria, the le the last thing Nigeria lies, needs right now with all the in fighting between Christians and Muslims, we're going to have fighting between Muslims as well, <laughs> between Sunnis and Shias with this this export of oh my God, the yeah, the ideology there. Yeah, like, okay. No, thank yeah, you. so I just wanted to show that quickly, like, to your point about, like, how real that reach is. But then the other thing I wanted to show was some parodies that Iranians make of Salam for Monday, because it makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> okay, but before before we do a parody, we should watch this one, because this one actually got a, may, a lot of attention. Right? So this was, and I don't know if this was part of the original, but this was this woman singing it i have to include this for context of the later parodies because she caught a lot of attention do you know more of the backstory behind this yeah this was a while back when she was singing this song okay but people are like this is how how ridiculous things are in iran okay so you see like she she really believes in the regime and she's a supporter of the regime okay mm -hmm. and she's singing the song and she's like so sm smiling about it and she's like being so loyal like talking about like uh being you know loyal to the imam or uh, uh, Ali Khamenei like that and you would think well this is a good thing for them right they would appreciate this like look at her look at them uh, look at the joy in her face um the being so happy borderline orgasmic <laughs> yeah well this is why the pro-regime people attacked her they're like oh why God. are you being such a slut that's the whole <laughs> <laughs> you're were a like... slut for the imam <laughs> like they're like what they were yeah they're like <laughs> so they didn't appreciate her support they're like the way you're like the, your smile is too tempting bloody yeah. yeah no that's the whole point is like too like why are you being like why are you acting like that this is like this is not like a they, this is 18 plus for them okay this is you, like they're you're, like you're, you're singing like you like it too much are you asking for it what's wrong <laughs> yeah, with like, you you whore are you flirting whore? with it the... no they're like they're like are, are you flirting with our mom <laughs> like what is this Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like look but she did it she's just smiling she just I, okay it's the smile and the head tilt apparently that was too much like <laughs> I'm like okay so women smiling and just mildly tilting their head apparently that's too slutty for the pro regime people in she looks so <laughs> enraptured in her in her praise 
Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, but so this lady obviously was then also dogged on by a lot of anti-regime people because they think it's like disgusting to yeah. see someone like acting like this, right? So yeah, for the regime. But um okay, so but her, like, she she specifically inspired a lot of parodies. Okay, <laughs> so but look at this. No, no. You know what the comment pops up? It says June Cheshwe. <laughs> So the comment that pops up when she like smiles like says June che ishmay very very far from the meal. So the anti-regime people are making fun of her. They're like, I don't know how to say June. How do you translate that into English? They're like, ooh, like, ooh, how sexy. I don't know, like for for your farm on there, for your mom, for your commander. Like how, how like I don't know how this is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to translate that. There's no good equivalent. Anyways, let's look at some of the parodies. Okay, this one makes me laugh <laughs> so hard. So for those who are listening, in front you see a man like wearing chador who's heavily bearded, and behind him you see two ladies also like wearing chador, and he's doing the same motions as her where he <laughs> <laughs> the reactions of the women behind him trying not to laugh are my favorite part. So he like goes to hit pound his heart on the chest, but instead like makes it sexual. Like he's like wanking someone off. And then we can't play the music, but then there's an upbeat portion of the song. And then he starts like dancing and like shaking his butt. Like, and the woman behind him just start falling apart laughing. It's so funny. Yeah, shaking his shoulders. Salam, oh, Sarma. <laughs> All right, all right. Wait, oh this is like God. another good one. Wait, here, yeah, this is another good one. Oh yeah, what this one. It? So then this one is a woman who has a sheet wrapped around her like a chador, and she <laughs> starts acting aggressively sexually. <laughs> like, doing, like doing crazy stuff with her lips, showing a little bit of booby, grabbing the booby. <laughs> Give the booby, oh, flapping herself. <laughs> <laughs> choking herself <laughs> she's like oh gag on it <laughs> oh my god i haven't seen this this is amazing i love it <laughs> yeah she takes her door off she sticks her hands in her mouth like fish hooks herself <laughs> grabs her titties again <laughs> <laughs> wait, you <laughs> took me off. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I got too excited. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, give it to <laughs> give it to the commander. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I didn't see. I, oh, I, oh, the boob grabbing part. <laughs> so yeah. funny. I, it, when she I was, slaps guys, herself in the face, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, if you're listening to this on a podcast, you should definitely come on YouTube and watch this segment. This is this part of the video. This is so good. Oh my god! All right. Uh, is there any more? No, no. So it's the last one. By the way, there are a lot of parodies. There are a lot of parodies, and also there were a lot of angry people on both sides. Like on the anti-regime side, they were seeing some people who were had liberal outfits, right, or without even a job. And they were like singing the song and like doing the thing um and you know being sincere in their support and there's like more and more people who are not doesn't don't look very religious but seem to be very interested in supporting the islamic republic of iran and a lot of anti-regime people are like what the hell is happening here like this is like what is this new trend happening here like we don't like that at all right so there's that's that's the thing apparently yeah <laughs> Big B says, "What did I join? What did I join into? What did I walk into?" <laughs> <laughs> Just a normal day in the Republic. Come on, you know, you know what time it is. Yeah. You're not new here. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. 
So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.